Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Tammy Jo Shopit, and if you were with me last month, you heard that I shared I did not make this series within a 30 day period of time. I had over scheduled myself. Whether it took me four weeks or six weeks really doesn't matter because that I wanted to enjoy my clay and enjoy making quality cups. Regardless, you guys are gonna to get to see all the 30 cups within a 30 day span of time, which I'm so thankful for. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have a challenge right now. Um, see the little wood slats that those tea bowls are drying on up there? That's August. I need to throw for September, but I have nothing to set these new cups on. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Ta-da! I think I'll just use my regular table and I found all these scraps of wood and it should absorb some of the moisture from the new cups. Strangely, this was more difficult than throwing other cups just because I don't usually um, pa bypass the trimming of the bottom of a cup. So it was a little bit strange to me trying to figure out the depth I needed so it wasn't too thin and it wasn't too thick. It was real simple getting the cups done. I had learned to go faster by this time and I was throwing cups at five minutes per cup at the beginning and then now I'm already up to maybe one and a half minutes to two minutes if I took my time. So I got real proficient. It took me um, eight sets of 30 to be able to get to this ninth set to uh, throw so well. I was really excited that my speed increased. Okay, these are the only four cups that I'm gonna have to trim the bottom of that were too thick on the bottom. That's not too bad out of uh, 30 cups. This was a nice time for me to explore the abstract art that I've been doing in my paintings. I took some time off of clay to be able to try and get some ideas of designs in my head so that my pottery was unique. When I made these, I thought a variety of color and I had some shapes that I had in mind and obviously my trees, which is something I love to do. You know I love trees. <laughs>
So big challenge here. I noticed that these pieces, the corners of them were pulled away, so I just pushed on it and they popped right off. So what I'm gonna do, see there was one right there. Which one went there? It was this guy. He went here. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of glaze that spot and see how it turns out. Uh, unfortunately, these didn't stick on there, but I am gonna go through and make, the, uh, make sure the other ones are secure because if they're not, they're gonna pop off in the cone six. really easy to um, feed off of somebody else's designs, uh, whether it is a rolling pin, whether it is a decal, whether it is a uh, something else, a stamp made by another person. It's really great sometimes to get out there and just explore what is your own creativity, 100% yours. It will become stronger in accepting and appreciating your own style. So I want you to go out there, find your own strength, and be strong in your art. Enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. There are nine, three more videos left, and I can't wait to share with you the very, very last count. We'll see you next time.